Grand Rising, everybody. This is Tahaka. And today, we're going to be dealing with property and property taxes. Let's start off with property. That which is peculiar or proper to any person, that which belongs exclusively to one. In the strict legal sense, an aggregate of rights which are guaranteed and protected by the government. Fulton Light Heat and Power Company versus the state, 65, uh, and, and so on and so forth. New York uh, 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 State, uh, the term is said to extend to every species of valuable right and interest, more specifically ownership. The unrestricted and exclusive right to a thing, the right to dispose of a thing in every legal way, to possess it, to use it, and to exclude everyone else from interfering with it. Okay, did you hear that? All right, now let's take a look at property tax, okay, and ad valorem tax usually levied by a city or county government on the value of the real or personal property. Real property or personal property. Didn't say nothing about private property. That the taxpayer owes on a specified date. You follow that? The tax is generally expressed as a uniform rate per thousand of valuation. See ad valorem tax. All right, now we're not going to get into that. What we're going to do is get down into the meat and potatoes of uh, this property taxes and stuff and how to get rid of it. Okay? Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, once again, we're coming to you from um, Black's Law Dictionary 6th Edition. Okay? All right, it's right in there. All right. Anyway, let's deal with it. Okay, everybody, here we go. Now, uh, this is a document that uh, I have given people in the past who uh, are not secure party and creditors. They have gotten other things from us. Uh, however, this is something that, uh, uh, a document that I have never used to go and, 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 and effect this process even though I have success stories by people who did. However, um, the uh, Constitution of your state plus the United States Supreme Court 
has already stated that private property is exempt from taxation. And what happens is your county have your property listed as real property. Now, we just got through uh, going over the definition of property tax. And they told you about the ad valorem, and I hope you took the uh, liberty to look up ad valorem. I didn't go into that, didn't need to. Um, and what uh, property is, we dealt with that. But what you, uh, uh, all you really have to do is go down there and tell them, because you got your property listed as real property to the private property. Now, that's where you live. You're not operating a business in your home. Uh, that's where you live, you eat, you sleep, you poop, you, you know, uh, that's where you live. That's your private location, your private domicile. But they have you listed as real property. In other words, you are a mom and pop operation. You got a convenience store. Your house is a 7-Eleven <laughs> uh, or something like that. So what you have to do is go down and say, well, look, here go to law. And uh, you have my property listed here, such and such thing. I need you to change that uh, to private property. And here goes uh, all my reasons why it's correct. Here go the uh, uh, your Supreme Court rulings. Here go the rulings uh, with the uh, Constitution of the state uh, in which you live. States, in my case, the state of Florida. This is what it's stating here. And here go all my uh, rights. I need you to switch that back. And not only that, since it's a fraudulent move, I need you to go ahead and give me every dime of my money back that I didn't gave you up until this date on this fraud. Otherwise, we're going to sue you and bring the law into the courtroom and lay it on the table. It's your move. So we want to get that uh, switched out, list it as private property. Go ahead and give you your money back, and uh, that's the end of this here. But uh, let's go down and look at this document. How to pay property taxes by 1899A. This is the only correct way to pay them. There are no taxes on a 1099A transaction. What you are not to know about property taxes is that your U.S. Treasury straw man account holds the title to your property and is liable for the taxes. Bottom line is your U.S. Treasury straw man account has paid the property taxes because it holds the master title to the property and you live in it for free. Well, if that's the case, uh, and I have uh, total control of the uh, uh, corporate fiction of what you call in the straw man, well, you know, I, you know, I'm a living, breathing man. You know, you got me listed. Uh, you got the wrong joker uh, listed in 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 uh, all this kind of stuff. So, uh, the process, uh, you get to pay sub coupon from whoever with the full amount noted on it. Then you mark them as separate for value, signed and dated. You fill out the 1099A. Your U.S. Treasury account is the lender, and who sent the bill is the borrower. So you remember we were talking about being a secure party in creditor, living in the private, getting out of the public. Let me tell you that. I keep telling you this over and over and over. Uh, because you keep uh, contacting me, well, man, I got a, a, a problem with a uh, child support. I got a problem with uh, 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 they suspending my dri <laughs> my driving license. I got a problem with the mortgage company. They finna they finna auction my house off. They finna foreclose on this, that, and the other. Come on, man, get you know, wake up, get get up out the game. Uh, making the payment to the county treasurer, whoever sent that. Uh, mail is using the registered mail. Copy B of a 1099A, original of the pay stub coupon mark accepted for value. Okay, uh, uh, most of us already know uh, how to do this thing, and this document here comes along with your secure party and creditor packages as well. It's just part of uh, what we do down here. I'm not going to read all this right here, but I want to talk to you about how uh, crooked, the operation is, so that you will be able to just go and uh, get in your proper status in commerce, become a secured party, uh, uh, get in the private, get out of public, shut this thing down and everything else to come your way. Okay? So we're going on to the next thing. Okay, here we go. Private registered bonded promissory note, 55 million. 
55 million of the United States dollars. Note number JHDPN001. U.S. Postal Register Mail Number. Uh, John Doe or Tom Jones. This is just a, a template to show you how this thing, uh, once you learn how to uh, operate in the private and how to go about uh, doing your stuff. And notice that uh, this is on bonded paper. Uh, makes it totally legitimate once you uh, put the right information in there. Private prepaid treasurer account one two three four five six seven eight nine. Uh, Secretary of the Treasury, uh, Geithner, he was still in there. The negotiable instrument, telling the lawfully John Henry Doe, marker, in good faith, shall evidence of a debt in the payee pursuant to the following term. This is an unconditional promise to pay. Okay? The note shall be posted in full dollar, dollar pursuant to the credit order noted above and presented to the pay United States Department of Treasury, uh, CO trustee of the U.S. Uh, bankruptcy, Timothy F. Gardner, after discharge of the debt, the balance of the funds, is to be credited to John Doe to be used for the benefit of the same. Pay shed upon receipt of the instrument, charge the account, uh, they go your uh, social and all uh, 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 with, the, with the dashes, bypass through private prepaid treasury account, uh, for the purpose of terminating any past, present, or future liabilities expressed, or implied, attached, or attributed. Uh, this is the public debt obligation to the United States. Payer shall uh, ledger this note for a period of six months coming into the start of the business of, uh, when it, whenever until close of the business September the 13th, not to exceed 180 days and an interest rate equal to the current rate per annum. Upon maturity, this note shall be due and payable in full with interest and any associated fees. Payment shall be legend against private registered offset and discharge bond number. There it is again. U.S. Peer Register Mail. There it is again. Held and uh, secured by Timothy F. Gotten, Secretary of the Treasury. For all when pro where prohibited by law. Okay. Now, uh, once again, once you be uh, getting your proper status in commerce as a secure party and creditor, uh, uh, learn how to operate in the private. Uh, this is just one of the things that you will be able to do, and uh, in order to function, uh, you want to purchase uh, buildings, or real estate. Uh, if you want to purchase automobiles, or you know whatever whatever it is that you need, uh, and keep in mind now when you get to the automobiles, don't make the mistake that a lot of people do. Uh, we had one guy; he goes out. And start uh, uh, just uh, getting vehicles, just getting vehicles, man. And then turn around and sell them somebody else to the FBI showed up at his house. Say, hey, man, you know the rules. One vehicle per family per year. That's it. Keep it up, we're taking you down. But anyway, uh, that's what we want to e exhibit here on this document. So let's go on to the next one and I take a little quick brief on that because I'm trying to keep these videos short. Okay, everybody, this concludes what I wanted to discuss with you in regards to your property taxes. Uh, keep in mind that uh, the uh, last letter that I went over with you, you can disregard that. We don't uh, uh, use anything like that, but I just wanted you to see the title. It says illegal. <laughs> what they're doing is illegal, but if you don't know no better, and you don't know what to do about it, uh, then uh, you just stuck with a problem. So what I do is recommend that you uh, become a secured party and creditor so we can show you what to do. Uh, you do that by going to TahakaDebtElimination.org. That's TahakaDebtElimination.org. Now what we're going to do is we're going to post the short video here right there on YouTube. And, but we're going to take the full video and uh, add in uh, a, a presentation that will take you step by step and show you how to deal with the property taxes. Pretty much very, very simple. But uh, we have another guy that's going to go ahead and uh, do a video thing so you can go ahead on and uh, uh, get on up in there and do this here. Okay. But anyway... I hope you got something out of this, and uh, we got other videos that will be coming out in the future. 
And uh, we're going to deal with what is a secure party and creditor, what is, you know, this, that, and the other. We're going to deal with the whole gamut in short videos and stuff. And uh, then, of course, uh, you know, you got to look out for my blog talk radio show. We've been coming on uh, with other stuff as well. But anyway, to org. Y'all take care.